take a penalty. There's controversy right this at the is start an unfortunate. of the second half. Eva Jenner has caught the defender with a trailing leg. <laughs> the referee has to show us. What's happening fellas and welcome back to another episode of EJ Reaction. Salamat pagi, salamat siyang, salamat sore, salamat malam. Sanang pirdi mo digel mu, apa kabar? Saya bayik, terima kasih banyak, dan kamu. Today we're gonna watch the highlights of another soccer game of AFCU 23 from Group A between Qatar and Indonesia. I'm super excited to check it out. Without further ado, let's dive in. I'm a big fan of national team of Indonesia and I'm... Looking forward to see them in the finals and inshallah the winner of Asian Cup 2024. Let's do it. They have really brought a great team to this competition. 16 top teams from across the continent of Asia have arrived oh, this in is the opening of desire. Asian Cup. The AFC Under 23 Asian Cup 2024. The 6th edition of the tournament gets underway for the host nation Qatar in Group A as they take on the tournament debutants Indonesia in the Jasim bin Hamid Stadium in Doha. Qatar will be aiming to replicate the senior national team success and use the home advantage to lift the trophy for the first time. However, Qatar's head coach Elidio Valle said the immediate target is to seal Olympic qualification with three automatic spots available. Qatar's rising star Ahmed al Rawi already opened his account for the national team against Kuwait last month and he starts alongside Mahdi Salem in attack. For Indonesia, all eyes will be on Marseille. Fernando, Arhan, Rio Fahmi, Komang, Rido, Ferrari. Ferrari, that's a beautiful name. Marcelino, Ivar, Witan, Arkan, and Struik. Struik. Sorry for any mispronunciation. And then Ferdinand, hailed as the generational talent by Indonesia's fans, he already has over 20 senior caps and recently became their youngest ever goal scorer at the Asian Cup 2023. We're into the action and the first 17 minutes has been bright for Qatar and they win the ball back after a heavy touch. Mahdi Salam with an early sighter, but it's straight what into the goalkeeper here? Anando Ari's arms. A let off for Indonesia. Many of you were complaining about the referee of this game and let's see what we're gonna see afford more of those kind of mistakes but at the other end indonesia with some good work on the edge of the box rafael strike sails the dummy and oh, then hits nice. the post oh, my goodness a fantastic effort he hit the really well worked move almost bears fruits for shin tai young's team into the 40 you see guys minute. Indonesia is doing a really great job. Rido in a tangle with Mahdi Salem. He's allowed it to bounce. Yo, what, danger what here. just happened here? And did Rizgi Rido catch the attacker with a flailing arm? Nazulu Kabirov, the referee, says yes. And it's what? a penalty. And a chance for Khalid Ali to score. A penalty? From what just happened? Wait a minute. What bounce penalty? Bounce and there's danger here. And did Rizgi Rido catch the attacker with a flailing arm? Nazulu Kabirov, the ref. He was just trying to catch the ball. Free says yes, and it's a penalty and a chance for Khalid Ali. Come on. To score it from wasn't 11 a penalty. meters. And he drives it ah, down the middle no, no. to score the first goal this for is Qatar. Not fair. In stoppage time in the first half. It's the like first I'm not, goal of the I'm not an expert, and Qatar haven't but from the that was so clear that it wasn't penalty. They're on the right path as they head into the break, 1-0 up after that well-taken penalty. And then there was controversy right this at the is start an unfortunate. of the second half. Eva Jenna has caught the defender with a trailing leg. <laughs> the referee has to show a second yellow card. For <laughs> what happened? Nothing happened, actually. And then there was controversy right at the start of the second half. Eva Jenna is Holy moly! That guy is a great actor! He barely touched his sheen and nothing and really controversy happened. Controversy right at the start of the second half. Look at him, look at him. Eva Jenna Bro, has come caught on. the defender with a trailing leg. The referee look at the way has to show a second yellow card <laughs> for the challenge. <laughs> and Indonesia's first game in the under 23s is Cup so sad. turning into a nightmare. Down to 10 men for the remainder of the match. 
It's his knee. Minute, and Ahmed Al Rawi has a free kick from a long way out. That was so childish. Ball, and it's driven in. Ah. A fantastic effort. What a hit that is. Off the post and in. They scored again. And he puts Qatar 2 0 up. Look at the bend on that strike. The power takes it past the goalkeeper. The I'm end, speechless, guys. Throw in, launched into the box. Causing all kinds of trouble, and there's Marcelino. My goodness, that was a golden moment for well, Indonesia. And Youssef is there to tip it round the post. Marcelino Ferdinand catches the volley well. And KMSK Dainz's attacker almost draws one back for Indonesia. Okay. They have a bit of defending to do here, and they've given the ball away. Ahmed Al Rawi round his man and takes the shot on. But it's always rising in the 67th Bro, minute. I still feel that really would have bad been about that penalty. Does well to work the space. But too much power in the end. Qatar well in control as we go into stoppage time. And Indonesia's evening is about to get even worse. A really clumsy challenge by Ramadan Sananta. Oh no. Complete this why was a real scene. He wasn't acting. As we go into stoppage time and Indonesia's he evening twisted his ankle, I think. His uh, a knee. A really clumsy challenge by Ramadan oh, no. Sananta completes the misery for Indonesia and the referee is given no he choice is, but to he show smashed a his red ankle. Bar review. So success for Qatar in front but of their home red fans car? as they run out 2-0 victors over Indonesia. Really? It was a really bright performance from the first whistle and they take the I don't have any comments on the that. Top of group B. They'll face Jordan in their next match while Indonesia will take on Australia. Honestly, I don't know what to say. Let's take a look at the comments. Holy, we have 12,000 comments. The match referee immediately got a Lamborghini from Qatar. <laughs> that, that's a top comment. I'm going to like it. The video should have a title, Money versus Indonesia. Ah, that's so sad. A hug from Malaysia to Indonesia. The referee is not fair. This is not the match. This is comedy from the referee. Bravo, Indonesia. You guys did a great job, honestly. Kudos to you, Indonesia. I'm from Jordan and feel the injustice that happened feel the injustice that the Indonesian team was subjected to as happened to us in the Asian final it is shameful to repeat these things such actions destroy a whole generation of young players I hope we qualify with Indonesia this is why we shouldn't hold football competitions in the Middle East they will pay for their wins <laughs> that's hilarious 11 actors plus money versus Indonesia. <laughs> Referee got 10 Lambo and 2 penthouses after his match, after this match. See how Indonesia versus Australia without money, 1 to 0. Cover you. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Well, it is sad that Indonesia lost this game but i hope that they're gonna be in the finals and inshallah the winner of asian cup thank you so much for watching the video i hope that you enjoyed watching it if you did you just like i did you already know what to do hit that like button and if you're new to my channel i'm still thinking about the comments guys and the, the comedy part of the video that we watched do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button i want you to stay safe <laughs> I don't know <laughs> which player was that, but he's a great actor. That's part of soccer players, you know, but that was really unfair. Take a good care of yourselves. I'll definitely catch your next reaction videos. <laughs> Peace. Sampai <laughs> Jumpa.